Hello again. Uh, it's been a while since I did one of these unboxings, but I have two things I didn't think I'd be purchasing anytime soon. This is the Chucky Ultimate Edition from Trick or Treat Studios, and the reason why I decided to purchase it is because I found out that Trick or Treat Studios lost their licensing to the Chucky franchise, as well as others from Universal. Um, I don't know the whole details on how they lost the licensing or what exactly happened, but I decided um, I was just going to buy this Ultimate Chucky along with the Pizza Face and Tommy heads. Uh, yeah, I wasn't going to buy this Chucky. When it came out, I was kind of like iffy on the sculpt and everything like that. I do have the rest of the Trick or Treat, minus uh, Glenn, Glenda, but yeah, when I saw the Ultimate, I wasn't hooked at first, but now now that I bought it, and I've seen people rehaul them, it looks really good, and I'm, I'm kind of iffy about if I'm going to rehaul this or not, I'm, I think I'm leaning more towards it, because the paintings on some of these, the stock paintings, and they look kind of pinkish or whatever. So I saw a couple of people that were darkening the face and clothing to, and even adding like a little blood from when he gets like real. So yeah, I still haven't opened these up. And also making this video, I found out that the Tommy head is now sold out and these in the pizza face and the Chucky doll are almost sold out. And once they sell out on Trick or Treat Studios that they're gone because they lost the license. So the stock they have now is that's it. So I was lucky enough to get Tommy. Uh, like I said, I got everything. So I'm going to open them right now and give a little review. So just from looking at this now, the box is like weathered, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I really like it out, how uh, it looks like there's some like water damage on the box. I like how they uh, I like how they do different things for the boxes as well. Like uh, Tiffany never had a box in the movie, but for Cedar Chucky, they made a good guy box that was different. Even Neca had a uh, good guy box that was a little bit different. And this is Ultimate Chucky. You got the blood smearing, which is pretty cool. And this is uh, from Child's Play 2. And honestly, I'm kind of digging how he's looking. I wasn't really expecting it because I've seen pictures and everything of people having it. I just thought he looks kind of funky, but now that I actually see him, and it's like, looks pretty cool. Before I take him out of the package and everything, on the bottom it's like wet blood, which is pretty cool. It's kind of like he, uh, oh, it's also a handprint that I missed. But, uh, yeah, you got the good guy on here. This is what I was thinking of weathering, too. Like, making me, making it a little dirty. Or I've seen people that make patterns on SC, Etsy that, um, like a brighter blue overalls. But, yeah, let's just get to it. So this is Ultimate Chucky. And he's pretty ugly, I will say. I was taking him out of the box, and I keep forgetting that these are removable. So that's where the uh, pizza face and Tommy accessories come in. And they just go back on like that. Same with this hand. They have like magnets to it, so, which is a good idea instead of like uh, how they used to make it like click on and if it comes loose, you know, it's no big deal. And also, which I keep forgetting, is that the back also comes off. So it's like, you can uh, adjust his eyes. Let's see how these work. I don't want to... That's another thing I found out about these things, that they, uh, they break apparently really easy, but... I guess maybe they fixed it. Does it go easy with it? But 
now they move around pretty well, which is nice. I do like the uh, NECA idea where it's just like it rolls in the eye, so I could also do that if I was to rehaul this Chucky, but let's fix him up. It does make it easier to uh, have him look directly one way without being off or anything like that. But Chucky Scout has the magnets and just like that. Can't see it or anything. Yeah, it definitely needs to have his hair fixed, styled. And this wasn't, this was sculpted, I forgot who it was sculpted by, but it wasn't um, Garrett who does the original Chucky and the Tommy head that I also have. But yeah, I'm glad to have him in my collection. He has these dirty little teeth, if you can see it there. Yeah, I mean, the old rolls are the same. The head comes off, which is, it's pretty cool that it's interchangeable. Uh, none of the Chuckies do that, which is why this is ultimate, because you can switch heads to whatever variant you like, whatever stages there are. The hands also were with the Tommy. They, uh, they have two different hands that come with Tommy, but as of right now, they are sold out. So if you didn't get it, I don't think these are gonna be coming back, which is why I jumped on it when I saw that. Uh, it actually makes a cool piece without the head. Yeah, I'm gonna open the next two boxes and do a quick review on those. It's weird, the Tommy and Pizza Face were the same price, but Pizza Face does not come with extra hands, only Tommy does. So, that is kind of weird, I don't know why they did that. I guess how many hand poses can you do with Chucky? Yeah, he's looking pretty sick. I'm gonna open him up and review him first, and then we're gonna get on to Tommy and see what he looks like. And here is Pizza Face. Now, yeah, like I said, I don't know where they got his name from, uh, besides the fact that it looks like pizza, I guess. The actual paint job's not bad on this one. I've seen some ones that looked really, like, they don't look as gory or anything. I mean, his flesh tones could have be darkened a bit. Yeah. It's actually a lot darker than I've seen others, but, uh, yeah, this is from, uh, in Child's Play 3 where he gets into the amusement park. He's trying to go after um, Tyler. And the scythe just takes it off. Uh, just like... Which is, uh, yeah, one of the final scenes of the movie. So a little spoiler alert if you haven't seen it already. But yeah, same thing. You can uh, adjust the eyes, which is cool. There we go. And now, you can just snap this on. There it is. Oops. Now you got the pizza face variant of Chucky Charles. Yeah, so having the Ultimate Edition is actually pretty cool. Now that I'm thinking about it, because you can just change heads whenever you want, or... I've seen some people put these on display. Oops. Try to grab him. Yeah, so this is the Child's Play 2 regular face. This is pizza face. And yeah, like I said, the sculpt is really good. Less pink on this one. Uh, I'm talking about the flesh tones on his face. And yeah, no, I'm really digging it. He looks really cool, especially in certain lights. I'm going to try to get more video of some special lighting on this one. To, uh, this hair in the back seems pretty long. But, yeah. So now, it's the last one. And I think it's one of my favorites because it's Tommy. And he plays a really small part in Child's Play. But it's also actually pretty big because he's the doll that Andy sees that he thinks is Chucky. But... It's not because he's so traumatized, but it's, it says the name's Tommy, and then Charles over here buries him and takes his name for a little bit. So 
I'm gonna switch him out and we'll review that one as the last one. And here is Tommy from Child's Play 2. The reason why I think this one sold out pretty quickly was the sculptor for this one is uh, Garrett Zima. He owns a lot of like screen used Chucky items and I think he does a bit of sculpting. But when you see this, you can tell that it's pretty, pretty, like, spot on for the Tommy that you see in the movie. And, like, the pizza face, it's sculpted by somebody else, and it's not from screen used molds. But if you look on the back here, just like in the uh, original Chucky doll, it is... Uh, developed from screen used molds which Garrett has so that's pretty cool and yeah like I said Garrett also was the one who helped out with the Trick or Treat Studios original Chucky which I have in my collection I got the uh, they did a Kickstarter for it and I chose like I think it was like the ultimate package or whatever but I got a bunch of little goodies and a signed certificate from him and uh, uh, Brad Dorf with also there's one other name on there I'm forgetting but yeah the voice of Chucky uh, Garrett and somebody else I forgot the name I'm so sorry but let's open this one and review this say hello to Tommy this sculpt is amazing this if you see the movie, if you know the movie, you know Tommy, and this is really impressive. I love this, actually. Here's Tommy, and these are the hands that it comes with. It's this one, and just generic open little hands. So I'm gonna plug these on right now and see how he looks. These hands, you can also tell they're different, because they have like a kind of, I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, but they're kind of pinkish, which goes well with the pizza face as well. But yeah, this is Tommy. Like I said, the sculpt is screen used, so that always makes the dolls a lot better. These are pretty cool, to be honest. The other two, I've seen people like put in uh, like helmet kind of casing, and they just look cool as hell. So... I think I'm going to play around with these and try to give them better hairstyle because these are just like right out of the box. They're, you know, not styled or anything, no teased up. But yeah, this this might be my favorite one because, like I said, you can't beat screen used molds. And this is pretty cool for having a Tommy now to add to my collection. I would say it's worth the buy, especially if you're a Chucky fan. but. Like I said, they're starting to sell out on Trick or Treat Studios. Like, I think Pizza Face has about 12 left from recording this. This is like 11 left, like the Ultimate Chucky. And Tommy's completely sold out. Um, I don't know what third parties have him that you can order from. If you're a Chucky fan, this is definitely a must-have. Because you have... Three different variants that you can play around with and you can like swap them out if you get tired of one but i think tommy might stay for a while but i'm gonna get some shots of tommy and chucky side by side and the original chucky that garrett also sculpted and helped with and i'm gonna see how they look as well i'm gonna take video of the head solo get some better angles to show off I mean, I love how Tommy looks on the Ultimate Chucky doll. And you can tell them apart side by side pretty easily, which I think is pretty cool because uh, in the movie, you know, Child's Play 2, Chucky actually replaces Tommy. And um, I do think it's cool to have two different variants. Also, again, with Tommy, he looks... He kind of looks more realistic, like, looks like he's about to change his eyes at any second, which is 
I absolutely love it. And the paint job is pretty good on this one, I would say. Uh, like I said, the only difference is besides the freckles are more prominent on the original Chucky. Uh, you know, he got lost his tan in the second movie, which is understandable. I mean, he was indoors most of the first one. So, uh, yeah, and then we got these two other lovely heads, Pizza Face, Child's Play 3, and those extra hands actually come with uh, Tommy. So, if you were to get the Pizza Face, which I don't know if they're sold out by now, uh, they don't come with those. And this is the head that comes with the Ultimate Chucky. Which is pretty, pretty cool. And like on all these, all the uh, freckles are uh, different. This one is kind of greenish, which is, uh, it's weird now that I'm looking at it. Because the rest of them are, they get darker, lighter, lighter. And then this one's green for whatever reason. But yeah, I mean... I've seen him get rehauled so well. The most recent guy I saw was a guy called the Horror Dude on Instagram. Uh, I think his old account got deleted or whatever, but yeah, he does a amazing rehaul on these. So, what do you think of Trick or Treat Studios Ultimate Chucky? Is it something that you're gonna get? Because, uh, like I've said. I've repeated myself way too much, but very limited stock of the Ultimate Chucky. Uh, Tommy's head, as far as I know, is sold out from Trick or Treat Studios, so they took it off. And like I said at the beginning of the video, they lost the license to Universal. I didn't look too deep in what that was about, but since they lost the rights, all things Universal are, have stopped production for Trick or Treat Studios. As I said in the beginning of the video, when I looked at the website, there was like 11 or 12 of the Ultimate Chucky doll itself and the pizza face. So Tommy's completely gone and I didn't look up the Seed of Chucky stuff or anything like that. I did miss out on the the Chucky knife that's like a, a magnet to the hands that you could put in these things, but no big deal. I don't know any third party sites that you can possibly get this before they were sold out and then probably doubled on eBay. But, you know, that's the Garrett original Chucky. So that I didn't look up either if that's still on Trick or Treat Studios. But if it is, I suggest get it because they're not going to have that anymore. Yeah, and this is Ultimate Chucky with Tommy Head. It comes with this one and these two are sold separately. But... I think it's a great piece for any collector out there. Uh, like I said, I didn't wasn't expecting it the Ultimate Chucky because I saw him and I didn't really uh, enjoy like the default paint job they did. But after seeing some, after pretty much buying him, I was doing research and I was like, wow, some people are rehauling this Chucky to make it look like really movie accurate. So that was really cool, and they, they even added like a little. I'm guessing it's perma blood down the nose in the scene where he's like turning human. But yeah, what do you guys think? Which head do you like better on the Ultimate Chucky? Uh, do you like Pizza Face? Do you like Chucky 2? Or do you like Tommy Chucky? Let me know if you're going to pick one of these up also before they sell out. Because I want to know if you do have it, what do you think? And let me know what you guys think is going to happen now that Trick or Treat Studios lost their license. Because I'm guessing, I mean, nothing... Nothing set in stone, but NECA made the two Bride of Chucky dolls, Tiffany and Chucky, which absolutely amazing. Like, those are, I love, love what they did with those. But do you think they're going to pick up the license for this? Because if they do, that means there could potentially be Chucky dolls made by NECA. But let me know in the comments what you think about that. And what would you like to see on this channel? Because I'm thinking about doing more reviews of movies as well as continuing buying collectibles and unboxing them because I love doing that 
And I'm also starting a podcast where I'll talk about things I collected and movies coming out or that I've seen in the past, especially like 80s and 90s old B-rated trashy horror movies because that's what I like. I love everything that's new coming out is kind of disappointing in my opinion. So yeah, I watch a lot of really, really bad horror movies, but I love it. I wouldn't choose it over I would choose it over anything that's being released today but yeah that's that's the video for this my Chucky collection is complete as of now there's no future buys that I have in mind uh, unless of course NECA decides to destroy my wallet once again uh, that's pro definitely a possibility but yeah thank you for watching I hope you liked this video the two comparison of the Garrett Zima sculpts with the screen used molds. I think, you know, amazing job. He owns, you know, all the, all the Chucky products. So yeah, definitely my two favorite. And these guys are pretty cool variants to have as well in the collection. So thank you for watching and until next time.